Early trout season at camp is one of my favorite times of the year. Not only is the fishing great, but the social aspect is tough to beat. With water conditions just right and abnormally warm temperatures in the forecast, I decided to take a day off of work and head up north a little bit early to get a jump start on the weekend. think of a whole lot better things in this world than a long weekend at camp. I am off tomorrow on Friday so I figured uh, I'm gonna come up tonight and I just got up here I unpacked the car unloaded the cooler and right now because it's about seven o'clock I think all that I'm gonna have time for is to maybe go fish behind camp so I'm gonna rig up here and see if I can get any into anything tonight I don't even know if they stock that so uh, we'll see we'll go fish it and check it out So, uh, walking back to the creek right now, and actually, you can kind of see behind me here, there's an elk just standing there right in the main ripple, which is always really cool to see. I never get sick of seeing them. I think we're, we're so fortunate to have so many of those, those things just in the area around camp. Okay, it was a pretty slow evening on the water. Didn't actually catch anything, but Right now, I'm uh, I'm basically getting ready for bed here. Gonna hit the hay a little bit early and then get up bright and early tomorrow morning and get back on the water. I woke up the next morning to much cooler temperatures, which I can easily deal with. What I wasn't happy to see though was the sight of rain. Not wanting to waste the day away, I decided to get out regardless and head to one of my favorite spots. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a wet morning here. The rain's starting to slow down a little bit, but I think I might just kind of sit here and enjoy some coffee a little bit more and uh, maybe in about 10 minutes or so start suiting up and see what I can do. Filming's gonna be a little bit limited uh, with the rain and all, but I think it's supposed to let up here a little later in the day. I didn't sit around real long before deciding to suit up and get on the water. The fishing started off half decent with landing a few small trout on nymphs. So it's been a fairly decent morning this morning. This is actually my nicest so far. I uh, finally stopped raining a little bit so I can get the camera out and do some filming, but uh, we'll get this guy back in. Yeah. So, uh, actually having a pretty good day here so far. Just landed another one. Got it on a, just a really small black waltz worm here. I'm hoping to start seeing some Hendrickson's uh, popping off. I saw like one or two earlier here, but uh, time will tell, see if there's any dry fly activity. But the nymphs have been pretty good here so far. Uh, that was on, again, just that, that small, you know, waltz worm. I 
I continued to do okay on nymphs, but never did get that fishable hatch that I was hoping for. I couldn't be too disappointed though, as I had what I would consider a pretty good day. Around 4 o'clock that afternoon, I decided to head back to camp to meet up with the rest of the crew that was coming up for that weekend. In my opinion, nothing beats a day of fishing followed up with some quality time around the campfire to kick off the weekend. Okay, back at it again today. Uh, it's a beautiful morning, it's about 55 degrees. Real early, it's a little bit after six right now. Uh, we're gonna start heading out and uh, the whole group of us are fishing together this morning. Dad was in a good Palomino. Alrighty, short morning update here. That is about number seven of the morning for me. I uh, just another rainbow coming on. Just some real simple patterns here and. Uh, everything on nymphs so far. We'll see if we get a hatch this afternoon though. Okay, well, I am breaking into the early season dry fly box here. And I actually, my first cast with a Hendrickson picked one up. Uh, so that's a pretty good sign. But uh, we might be in for a little bit of a hatch. Okay, Jake with another one. We're hitting a little bit of a Hendrickson hatch here. I just picked up one here and Jake got one on so it seemed like a good time to break out the camera. Number 15 on the Hendrickson. It's a lot of fish. It's been a pretty good day here. There he is. Back in. Jake with another one on the dry. He's showing just a parachute atoms. We were just talking here, whenever you get those flies that just get pounded and you just keep, you know, fish after fish and that dry fly starts to look real ragged, we were saying it's almost like it, uh, it kind of helps with the fish catching ability, it gives it like a buggy look, maybe like a crippled, done type appearance and my fly is not looking great but it is still extremely effective right now. The, the rising has slowed down a little bit but you see one come up 
and you throw over that fly, it, it usually is, is almost always resulting in a fish. Another fish here on the Hendrickson. Okay, that was another one on the Hendrickson. Uncle Todd's been picking up a couple, Jake's been picking up a couple, Uncle Mark. Dad just got back with, uh, with Brookie here and we got a whole crew. Once it slows down, we're gonna hang out on the bank and watch from the work a little bit more. We finished out the afternoon hanging out on the bank, watching the water and talking about the day. Like any weekend at camp, it was great to spend some time outdoors and just enjoy good company.